I think we're on. Well, okay. hello everybody. Hi, okay. Mandy. Yeah. Dark. When you think about the things that happen to you, that happen to you every single day, and the people are trying to undo you, and you don't know how to set them on the way. When you think about the things that happen to you, that happens to you you know life comes at you and um, and and we respond to it don't we and you know that we were studying a scripture on Monday night which uh, is Romans 8 verse 6 and it says to be carnally minded is, is death. death but to be spiritually minded is it's life and peace. peace and that word carnal you know a, a lot of people might be offended by that they might say well I'm not carnal because they, they think it's some kind of insult but all it means is to be of the five senses and when we just respond to things, when we operate according to the five senses, what we see, touch, feel, taste and smell, those five senses, then we are being carnal. That's what the word means. It simply means being in the physical. Don't get upset about it. Eh? But I noticed in that scripture it says to be carnally minded mm -hmm. is death. It doesn't say to do carnal things brings death. So we know that sin leads to death. But this is saying that the step before that is even mm. when you're thinking, just in a natural way all the time, so it you, will bring some kind when of loss. You don't loss. include God in, yeah. in your decision making when He's not part. He's not in the equation. That's I think right, sometimes yeah. though you're a Christian and you know God's there, you kind of think He's working in the background. But actually, to be spiritually minded, that verse says, is life and peace. So you know if you're being spiritual in some kind of crisis mm -hmm. when you've got a peace because that isn't natural. That's when right, you've just been yes. told you've been made yeah. redundant mm -hmm. just before Christmas and you're going, mm -hmm. hallelujah, God's mm -hmm. got a plan. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is, but I'm trusting and I'm declaring that. That's then that's so spiritual. Good, yeah. That's right, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, um, uh, the way you respond to things really uh, gives away what just what you're operating under, whether you're operating carnally according to your, the five senses or whether you're operating in the, in the, uh, uh, the Spirit of God as well. Because the Spirit of God will always give you a comfort that your physical senses try to rob you of. Well, you I, think the meter, I just thought the meters, meters needs more money in it, just I think the light is going to I noticed that, yeah. <laughs> just to wrap yeah. it up, we're about to do dinner now, and um, mm -hmm. just thinking about carnal and carnality, um, if you're clever like what I am, you'll know that carne, oh, if you... <laughs> If you can speak Italian or Latin or Spanish, which I don't speak any, it, the root of that is, is meat, like chili, con carne, which we're probably having tonight. Mm -hmm. Well, the dogs yeah. just had her meat. And, and she's not had dinner, she? <laughs> well, you can have some, some of what she's had. When like. you think about the things that happen to you, <laughs> that Dinner's happen ready. to you every single day, <laughs> and you don't feel like no? singing hallelujah, <laughs> you can get on up and sing it. That was a bit of jazz there. Did you hear that jazz, yeah. man? Hey. Time to go. <laughs> See you later.